We are back in this kind of event where we celebrate students' academic excellence, recognizing their hard work and for exerting efforts despite the hardships and circumstances they encounter. To our dear principal, parents, teachers, students, and viewers, welcome to Prophets Pen Academy Incorporated on its second virtual reading of honors for the Academic Achievers School Year 2021-2022. I am sure that you are all excited to witness the Academic Achievers as their faces will flash on screen later on. So without further ado, to start our program, let us hear the singing of our national anthem to be followed by the opening prayer to be offered to God by teacher Christy May Vanapan. Let us put ourselves in a holy presence of God. Let us pray. Our most gracious, kind, loving Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you've given to us. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings, the good health, and for the protection, Lord. And as we have our, as we start our second quarter reading of honors today, Lord, bless the participants and also, Lord, bless the students, pupils, and parents who are watching right now. Thank you, Lord, for loving us and forgive us all our sins in thoughts, in words, and in actions. In Jesus' name, amen. To give us some motivational and inspiring words about this event, let us welcome the father of our institution, Sir Reynaldo C. Fabricante, for his opening remarks. Together, let us give him our virtual applause. To our beloved parents, students, teachers, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This evening, we are celebrating the goodness of our Lord in protecting our lives despite of this pandemic in our locality. Prophet Spain Academy is on the go for the learning of our students. With this, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, teachers, I would like to welcome you all to this virtual second reading of honors for this school year 2021-2022. Once again, welcome 
and congratulations to all achievers for this school year and mabuhay tayo. At this juncture, we will be serenaded by Ms. Rain Donzel Fabricante and Mr. Charles Nicolai Ongriso in their musical rendition. of the faculty and staff of Prophet Spin Academy to our beloved principal, Mr. Rinaldo C. Fabricante, a pleasant good day to you all. Time and again, we have reached another milestone of our academic endeavor, notwithstanding the current pandemic scenario that has affected us all. Despite the new normal health parameters that we are all struggling to adapt to, such as the online classes, social distancing and wearing of masks, we still manage to learn and assimilate more knowledge and skills to help us prepare for the uncertain future. In our minor and major successes in life, we need to thank some important personalities and supreme beings who nurtured us along the way. Firstly, we acknowledge our teachers who put a lot of time and effort in the preparation of our module. Secondly, to our parents who in their daily guidance and wits put us to a favorable condition. Finally, with the guidance of our Almighty Father, all of us can attain our mission and vision in the pursuit of academic excellence. There were times when we may have not reached our target goals of our academic performance, but that does not stop us from pursuing more. Neither do we feel discouraged. We need to continue to study, and with your help and encouragement, we can attain our objectives. Thank you, and God bless us all.
written once again by the Joff Singers. Jesus. 
Sir Queenie Gabem Pampinawan to be followed with a grade 2 under the advisory of teacher Christy May Banabana and then the grade 3 under the advisory of teacher Sharon May Bumay.
advisory of Teacher Jella May Haganas, Grade 5, the advisory of Teacher Reshan Amarga, and Grade 6, Teacher Eden Shella Inawa.
gratitude will be given to us by John Wayne Kirk Rousseau, one of the academic achievers in grade 7 class. To our ever dynamic and active school principal, Sir Rinaldo C. Fabricante, our kind and very considerate advisor, Sir Jersey Hanson Yabo, beautiful, handsome, and hardworking subject teachers, supportive parents, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good day. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says, to everything there is a reason, a time for every purpose under heaven. God has purposely arranged for us to gather together virtually to celebrate another milestone in the lives of being a student, the reading of honors. Are you happy that your name appears on screen? Of course we are. I am not discouraging others who are not in the list but challenging them with the quotes that says, it's not about perfect. It's about effort. Maybe because there are a lot of factors that hinders on the way but for a change. Do something now and your future self will thank you for later. Just push yourself a little bit and take one step at a time in studying your lessons. Focus your goals and manage your time wisely. On the other hand, I am so grateful to our teachers in giving credits and recognitions of what we did during our online and modular classes. Despite of what had happened in the world because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which greatly affect on the way we learn our lessons, we cannot help but to express our exultant joy and gratitude to the different significant people in our lives who in one way or another help in molding us the way we are and who we are today. To our dear parents whose unwavering support and undying love always serve us our guide and inspiration to aspire the best things in life. Above all, our Lord Jesus, for the gift of life, the wisdom and talents and skills He bestowed upon us. We pray earnestly that He will continue to guide us as we follow the direction towards the attainment of our dreams. To this end, I urge my fellow students to be one with me in giving back the honor and glory to everyone who had molded us to what we have become. All this is possible because of everyone here who are lovingly taking care of us. Thank you very much and God blesses us all. Let us be entertained by the special music from one of the great 12 students, Clarish K. Caceres.
the academic achievers in the high school department. Starting with the grade 7 under the advisory of Sir Jersey Hanson Yamo, grade 8 under the advisory of Teacher Heian Pidao, grade 9 under the advisory of Teacher Glency Palasan, and grade 10 under the advisory of Sir Andre Angkapan.
given to us by Honey Din May Ingawan, one of the academic achievers in grade 8 class. To our beloved father in this institution, Mr. Reynaldo C. Fabricante, to our dear faculties and staff, parents, fellow schoolmates and friends, good morning. It is such a pleasure to stand before you in this virtual platform and expressing my gratitude to all the people behind the success I have today. First, I would like to thank God for the great wisdom He bestowed upon me, to my parents for supporting me all the time, and to my friends for sharing their laughter and making memories every day. Of course, this success will not be completed without my time and efforts. During this pandemic, I can really say that it is so much complicated for us students to study. Due to time management, we lack those. But thank God I have completed this second grading successfully. For almost eight years of studying in Prophet Span Academy, the one that got on my life's mot motive is education is not a race. It teaches us on how and what we are going to become in the future. It, and it is about socializing and not making enemies. It molds us to become a good and bright example to others. So for the students who didn't make in the honors list, you can try again, do better, and don't ever give up. For giving up is the least logical course of action. You just need to put a little effort on it, and you can do it. Once again, good morning, and to God be the glory. For the academic achievers of the senior high school, we have the grade 11 under the advisory of teacher Renaline Silahan, and then the grade 12 under the advisory of teacher Glenn
by teacher Rena in Sila. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to be a part of this program. And I would also like to take this opportunity to salute all the people behind this program to become successful. First is to our Heavenly Father, which is in heaven. And the father of our institution, Sir Rinaldo C. Fabricante. To the parents, teachers, and to our beloved students. And to all the viewers here in our YouTube channel, please don't forget to support the activity of our school. And I would also like to thank you all for believing and staying on the vision of this institution to be able to uh, give a more feasible, flexible learning modality during this pandemic. I would also like to congratulate not just the achievers but all the students who made this uh, second quarter who were able to submit their uh, requirements because I know it's very challenging but you are able to submit you are able to comply you are able to uh, deliver what is being asked so keep on dreaming keep on working don't uh, hesitate to ask a help from your teacher you can always do better we can never turn back to what we used to before but we can always build a better tomorrow starting it today so there's still a time we can still learn better and please always remember that it is not about making into the top but it's about the learning that you gain from this journey that would be all and once again congratulations and good evening Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Let us pray. Our most gracious, kind, and loving Heavenly Father, we bring back the glory and honor unto you, for you are so good to us. We would like to thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have shared upon us, for the strength, protection, for your guidance, and for being with us up to this very moment. We thank you also, Father God, for the success of our program this evening. May you guide us and protect us by your Holy Spirit, and may you give us knowledge and wisdom that we will be able to live in accordance to your will. Forgive us in all of our sins, in thoughts, in deeds, and in words. In Jesus' name, Amen. It is indeed a successful program as you witness on how the students reap the fruit of their success. This will never be possible without your participation and cooperation. We highly appreciate your time and support for this event. This is your host, Teacher Mary Grace Ikunar, a Kinder 2 advisor 
Carter saying, it is not about a perfect score, but the effort to learn. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, PPA TV, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated on our latest videos. Thank you, and may God bless us all.